Hi and welcome to the last installment video of environmental labeling and decoration where we will mainly recap the information shared in the previous three videos. The contents that will be in this video are the important terms used in describing what environmental labeling and decoration is, the overall mind map showing the entirety of the topics covered from video 1 until video 3. The recommendations on how to increase the awareness and usage of green products and services and the conclusion. Now, let's look at the important terms that will best explain the environmental labeling and decoration. The very first one is environmental labeling and decoration. It is one of the tools of environmental management and it provides information about a product or service in terms of its overall environmental character, specific environmental aspect, or any aspect. It is also subjected to ISO 14000 series and it relates to the other applicable standards which are ISO 14021, ISO 14024, and ISO 14025. Now, let's revise about the three ISOs mentioned. The first one is Type 1 ISO 14024-1999 This ISO mentioned that certification of equal label can only be obtained if the products or services are subjected to the principles and procedures stated in accordance with international standards and environmental criteria, and the authorization by third party is required. The next one is Type 2 ISO 14021-1999 which stated that there is no impartial third party involved in the certification process and it is a self-declaration certification where the environmental aspects and the important aspects of product life cycle must be put into consideration. And the last one is Type 3 ISO 14025-2006 it stated that the data of quantitative environmental information for products life cycle impact assessment must be presented based on a series of ISO 14040 standards. It is used to share the information and environmental performance of products. For the next important terms is Global Equilibrium Networking. It is a non-profit association of third-party environmental performance recognition certification and labeling organizations founded in 1994 to improve, promote, and develop the eco-labeling of products and services. Only environmental-friendly products and services proven to have lower environmental impact may carry a GEN member eco-label. Next is eco-label. Eco-label are also referred as green label. It contains several criteria which require an extensive information on the life cycle of a product and its impacts to the environment. Ecolabel is affixed to the products that pass eco-friendly criteria which has been assessed and verified by an independent third party. Moving on to Serim, which is an impartial third party attestation to products or services which comply with transparent environmental performance requirement based on life cycle consideration. CIRIM is a credible way to make environmental statement as opposed to self-claim bring to public. Next one is Environmental Product Declaration EPD. It is an independently verified and registered document that communicates transparent and comparable information about the life cycle environmental impact of products. The important terms also include development of product category rules PCR that define the product category, describe the scope of the life cycle assessment LCA to be conducted, and identify the types of potential impacts that must be evaluated and reported. The last of the important terms is life cycle assessment LCA, which is defined as the systematic analysis of the potential environmental impacts of products or services during the entire life cycle. Now, let's look at the mind map of the overall topics covered. This shows the summarized version for environmental labeling and declaration, which then further divided into the summary of the information related to Type 1 ISO 14024-1999.
type 2 ISO 1401-1999 as well as type 3 ISO 1402-5-2006. Let's move on to the recommendations that will highlight the responsibilities of individual or consumers, company or manufacturers, and government or regulatory bodies. For individual or consumer, they can spend a little more time in discovering the environmental impact of product by checking the product's label. Be more conscious about environmental concerns and issues by buying products that have eco-label and do not support products that do not have one. Whereas, for company or manufacturers, firms should take into account the environmental impact of their production and they should fight to have eco-labels for their products. This is not only beneficial for the environment, but may boost the company's reputation and or sales. And the last one is government or regulatory body where they should establish policies and guidelines for manufacturing firms to ensure that the goods produced comply with the ISO and mandate out relevant factories and industries to follow the environmental management scheme based on ISO 14000 within one year from the dates of commencement of operations. As from conclusion, environmental labeling and decoration is a subject of ISO 14000 series which inform about product or service in terms of its overall environmental character, specific environmental aspect or any aspect. Ecolabels and green stickers are labeling systems for consumer products that is practiced around the world, for example, Shirim, which is recognized in Malaysia as its ecolabeling system. Ecolabels are voluntary, but green stickers are mandated by law. Specific on ISO 14025 Type 3, Environmental Product Declaration EPD quantifies environmental information on the life cycle of a product to enable comparisons between products fulfilling the same function. Environmental labeling and decoration has developed throughout many proper stages with certified organization to ensure its credibility of environmental claim during life cycle of one product or service. Hence, it is globally important for sustainable production and consumption which aims to reduce the negative impact on the environment, health, climate and natural resources and encouraging corporate social responsibility and sustainable lifestyles. And that's the end of our installment videos on environmental labeling and decoration. Thank you for sticking with us until the last one. We hope you gain some new knowledge and can now be more aware in buying any products or using any services. We would like to end our video with some very impactful quotes. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We provide many information about life cycle thinking and environmental management by sharing a lot of related videos and infographics. That's all from us. Thank you for your time and until we meet again. Bye!